What are the best accounts to follow on social media for sports card news and info? In today's video, I'm going to show you some of my personal favorites and some that we'd recommend. Give them a look, hope they help, let's dive in. So first up, I want to come in strong with the homer pick. It's going to be, of course, card lines. You got to do at card underscore lines on Twitter. And we publish our articles, we publish images, all sorts of stuff. If something's happening in the industry, we try to get on it early and then share our thoughts. Next up is Darren Rovell, who over the last six months or so has become the guy who breaks all the sports card news. He was the one who announced the NFLPA deal. I think it was the first time I ran into Darren Rovell. There are a lot of different announcements that he's made. This week, he just announced the SGC and PSA merger or rather the collector's universe buying SGC to merge with PSA. If something big happens in the sports cards industry, quite often it's coming from Darren Rovell's news desk. Cardsmiths is another one that we recommend. They're good friends of ours. They do a lot of cool cards. It's the Bitcoin video that we've made was from them. Jujutsu Kaisen. They have a lot of like pop culture and or alternative cards. A lot of fun. Somebody just redeemed the Bitcoin worth one Bitcoin at a GameStop. So somebody pulled a $50,000 redemption. Super duper cool. They've done a lot of cool stuff. Give Cardsmiths a follow. Of course, PSA has a lot of news. They have a lot of graded cards, a lot of promotions, a lot of hype. If you're looking for PSA or grading news, this is the best account to follow. And speaking of big brands, Tops is, of course, going to be promoting not only their products, but their blogs and anything and everything that's happening inside the world of Tops. And as they take over more sports, there's going to be more content coming from them. Obviously, they've done a good job. They're clearly investing in content, everything from the Tom Brady campaign to some fun videos, a lot of hype to the National Tops Rip Day. If there's news or happenings at Tops, they're going to share it and they're a very good follow. And of course, there are other accounts such as the Collectibles Guru, for an example, of insiders in the industry, people who are big collectors, and just constantly sharing news and happenings in the industry. We encourage you guys to give those a look too. So now we're pivoting to Instagram, and to start, let's check out Card Ladder. They do a lot of stuff when it comes to tracking market data, and a lot of this or that kind of posts, like, hey, these cards sold for comparable values, which one would you rather have? A lot of interesting stuff. They're a good follow for like keeping up with the prices and trends. I enjoy personally everything that comes from Card Ladder and I enjoy using them. We're Card Ladder partners and if you're interested in signing up, we have an affiliate code that will make it $15 a month uh, from your friends at Cardlines. Slab Stocks is another one that does similar stuff, looking at different prices, how cards are changing, comparing different cards, different sets. There's the Sports Card Investor account, Jeff Wilson's semi-polarizing figure in the industry depending on who you talk to but in general this account pushes some pretty nice news and happenings recent sales things like that tops is another great one i like that they have their profile picture neon theme right now to line up with top series one but they have another good they're sharing releases it's the same kind of stuff that they're pushing on twitter but obviously on instagram you get more of the visual approach everything looks so good they're clearly clearly putting a lot of time and resources into making great content this is fun this is a lot of fun valentine's day post finally another homer pick but card lines is another good instagram follow we're now doing graphics as well looking at trends news sports card news is kind of our thing so anytime we get news we're trying to be some of the first to the press dropping this news and of course we do a ton of video content so looking at everything from how to package and ship cards to tips on who to invest in cards to avoid so no matter what's happening in the industry we're going to be some of the first people to break the news and get it right in front of you we work pretty much around the clock on creating this content and i think it'll be worth your follow just like twitter it is card underscore lines Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped find you some more people to follow. The industry is full of interesting people and voices, and you don't have to just follow one. I encourage you to follow everybody in this space. And don't go anywhere. Be sure to watch another one of our videos right here.